Anyone? As of now, nothing. I don't have a job. I am ugly. So my value right now is zero. Have you approached many women? Oh, many. And what was the result? Rejection 100% of the time. I would start talking to a girl, and immediately she would give me fuck off signals. She would, you know, pull out her cell phone, just start texting her friends, and just hope I would go away. Uh, I don't approach that much anymore because, you know, I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. I'm approximating, uh, that's not a real word, we're redoing that. <laughs> Ask a question again. I aim as low as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. You know, I aim for the bottom of the barrel because, you know, I, I realize that I'm ugly. Pretty boys get women, like your sound guy. And it's just you know, turn it to him, he's like, yeah. Turn it to him, you know? <laughs> see, he gets women because, see, I, I knew the moment I looked at him that he's not incel. I'm jealous. <laughs> no! That's not good. This is wrong. No. No. No, don't do it. No. 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 No, don't do it. No. No, don't do it. No. 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 Don't do it. I'm a virgin. It's a place to vent. I mean, it's just a place to socialize with other incels who suffer from the same problem I do. It's a place where, you know, people go put things that are like completely hidden from most other places. There's a lot of negative emotions that you can see there. There's a lot of depression, a lot of anger, a lot of hopelessness. I think the general consensus, though, is that the posters who are more controversial don't really fall under the love shy umbrella. Like, they would fall under something called incel. You just keep walking, you know? Hello, everyone. I am Caveman DCJ, and this is Tomba 2. You'll notice that I'm wearing pajama pants for this comfy game. It's weird, I always usually wear pajama pants, but I would say I wear jeans today. Yeah, you're not dressed for the occasion. I'm not. Yeah, me neither. Neither. I recommend all viewers to go get a nice cup of Joe, perhaps a bagel. Dude, I love bagels. Asiago cheese bagel. Yummy. I believe you. This game definitely has an interesting play style to it. How do you mean? Well, like, uh, most uh, most games in this kind of style are like sort of uh, 2D scroll or 3D scrollers. Whereas this one is kind of have a lot, uh, has another dimension to it. Yeah, it's like 2.5D. 2.5Ds, yeah. He's a true man. My name is Topa the Mighty. He doesn't actually talk, though, though he would never say that in any situation. He makes grunts. <laughs> That's kind of like talking. He could pretend he does. I have fast pants. We get turbo pants later. Now you're just making me excited. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for that. I don't think I am. I think I need some time to prepare my body. Jeez, how come I never saw this Christmas special as a kid? It's a, it's a rare game, I guess, really. <laughs> Take over. Yeah, that's <laughs> space play. <laughs> the greatest trick. Since when did Super Mario Brothers U get here? Good joke. So confirmed Santa's number one helper is a squirrel. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. $10 from Jack Hugh. The Tom B2 was my favorite childhood game, so I just had to donate for the first time. Thank you so much for the run and good luck. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh my god. $5 from Diasoide. Enjoying this run, but I'll donate another $10 if Green Hoodie Guy does 10 jumping jacks. Alright, so this is like the coolest part of the game in my opinion. Like, time is frozen, so this is just pretty much the point of no return. And, like, the first thing you see... Alright, well, we got, we got this going on, first of all. <laughs> Great job, guy, I don't know. There. 
So stick around, guys. It looks like we've got Spyro up next. It's going to be a great run. Yep, well, if you follow those rules, you're pretty much gu guaranteed a free lay every time you walk into the club. What is this music? It's just beautiful music. Just nervous about just the actual intercourse, I guess, I would say. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to hit that it's really going to happen. I'm scared. I think that you should take a shower first. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take a shower. Okay. And then I'll put on my lingerie. Uh -huh. And yeah. then I'll come into the room. Uh -huh. and, and we'll, we'll take a we'll surprise take, waiting for you. Yeah, then I'll have a surprise waiting for you. And we'll have our robes on. And we'll slowly take our robes off. And then we'll do and foreplay. <laughs> and then have sex. Look what Kyle's wearing. He's got this polo on, it's fitting. He's got nice jeans on. He's got flat bottom sneakers with the Nike check. He's got this nice jacket here. Your clothes are just off. Wow. Well, hello. It's UWT here, and we're in the mall giving Michael a makeover because he's fucking ugly. That's a sergeant tie, sergeant shirt. The flat bottom soles are in, right, at, uh, right, Scott? Nah, Why? this nigga needs to get some fresh J's. Fresh J's on this nigga. Dude, you weren't supposed to wear all the items at once. Hey, excuse me, what do you think of this? I told him it looks terrible. It's comfortable. I get a picture. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, but I don't think <laughs> what I need I'm going to get from these guys. I have a feeling we're going after a different kind of... Look? No. As I was saying, I have a feeling we are going after a different kind of female and what we're trying to attract. What kind are you trying to go after? Someone who yeah, will love you, you like, for you? Never answer that. Mm. Okay, and what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Like a Virgin from Madonna. Okay, cool. I made it through the wilderness Somehow I made it through it all. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. Okay. And next to do you do another song? Okay, I'm gonna do I Wanna Dance with Somebody. Okay. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Why do you think Advance is so obsessed with his face? Maybe because his face is something that he can't really change. But he can and yeah. will change it. Well, with plastic surgery. I have a Photoshop picture where I shortened my face, I made my cantal tilt positive. I'd like to have my Neanderthal brow grinded down. I'd like a cantal plasty, which is when they lift the corners of the eyes. I might decide to get a revision rhinoplasty. I know more about fat chicks than probably anyone on the planet. Like, I can write a book on them. I look at ugly fat chicks and I see how easily they get men, and, you know, sometimes that makes me angry. Do you ever resent women? Sometimes I do because of how easy they have it and how hard we have it in comparison. What makes you an expert on women having never touched a girl, kissed a girl? Sex? I don't think most women like sex. I think it's something that they do just I don't know, just because, I mean, like, the guy wants it, I guess, I don't know, I mean, women don't have a high sex drive. Do you think that women ever have trouble finding love? Nope. <laughs> That's even easier. That's like shooting a dead fish in a barrel. <laughs> when you have a machine gun, infinite ammo. If a woman wanted to get sex, she could go to a grocery store and ask any of the male cashiers, and I'm sure they all would, even the married ones. Even the Catholic married ones. I would fight in the front lines, the bloodiest battle the world has ever seen, and come back with no limbs if it meant that that would guarantee me an ugly fat chick for life. 
about the cake. You need to talk about the cake. Come on. What's the cake? It was a vagina cake. It was, in fact, a vagina cake. And they specifically saved the special portion for me. Uh huh. And I tried eating this thing, and I and it was like, oh yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna lick it and everything. It'll be hilarious. And then I go and I just got choked. red in the face and choked. <laughs> I couldn't do. It. I'm just. I think there's some projection going on here. You're the one who's afraid of vaginas. <laughs> oh wait, you're the one. That just reminded me of the threat. I'm terrified of female genitals. I totally forgot about that. I just don't like looking at him. Sex before. I'm a 24 year old virgin, if you can imagine that. And so, uh, just trying to save myself for that one special lady. Hi. Hi. Are you are you sure it's okay? Like. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Okay. Just, just go for ice cream. Yeah. Just real quick. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. You go. I'm ready. Okay. Corey from our ward asked you out last night. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I guess. Good guy. <laughs> do you like him like that? I think I do. Really? Yeah, yeah. Classic. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Scott. I brought you up here for a reason. Okay. I have flowers for you. Oh, wow. Thanks, hey, Scott. <laughs> The next part, okay. I've got something for you. I'm not sure if you can see this, but these are little toy boats. Let's call this a friendship, okay? And this is a friendship too, right? And we've been, you know, like sailing these little friendships, you know, for a while and stuff like that, like a year, right? Wouldn't you say? Okay, so we're sailing the friendship, but there's another boat that's in the harbor. You ready for this, huh? I don't know. Huh? This boat is called a relationship. You see that? I just wanna let you know right now, I, I think of you as a friend. Every style PUA camp should be in, it should be uh, created for these guys that you term as uh, you've used, used the term incels or involuntary celibates. So my plan for PUA camp would be similar to how they do initiation night at the Citadel. I would have all the uh, incels and love shies all basically huddled in like cattle into a room. Like these guys would be like standing together like cattle in a cow pen. And these guys who I'm going to call the drill sergeants would be in there confiscating all their World of Warcraft shit, all their Dungeons and Dragons shit, and they'd put it in a big fucking bonfire and burn it. Then I'd have surround sound playing the sounds of women enjoying sex, you know, ah, ah, neon lights flashing the words, it's all so adorable, but you can't have it. Play the Omega. Which no, is the little no, no, brother, no, no, basically. No, 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 no. Not the little brother. The legitimate. So that's what I aim for. The, the guy everybody makes fun of is the Joker. That, the Joker of the group, if you will. Can you explain Omega? <laughs> um, do you understand the Greek alphabet? Yes. Okay. Omega is the last. As I had explained to him, uh, using the wolf pack analogy, uh, alpha and beta are usually the um, two dominant uh, wolves. And then um, in most wolf packs, you do it's really Omega. Like I, know, and, I have to learn to gain more confidence around you guys and to try to build my not, not just us, in general. Yeah. This is a life skill. But going back to the pack animal analogy, the mates will see that too. Something he will never ever need in his life. I've already needed one. Yeah, well, back in nine, that. back in the, during the Clinton administration. Look, I, if I did have chances in college while uh, Bush was president, but I just it was too much of a voice. Well, that's the internet for you. Here we are. Stay focused. Well, there are several do's and don'ts about getting laid at a nightclub. I'll list them out for you. Here are the do's. Be attractive. Be hot. Be good looking. Be muscular. Basically, I can tell you're incel by looking at you. Don't. These are the don'ts. Don't be unattractive. Don't be average looking. Don't have pale skin. Actually, I haven't. To be perfectly honest, I had no idea. When I was in high school, I wasn't the most
popular guy until the end of the years, and at that point, no girl was really interested in me. And then the job came. I started the same day as a girl that I really wasn't interested in. Three months in, I started to get interested in her, and she was interested in me. Except when I got interested in her, she stopped being interested in me. And then after that, I just kind of went with the flow, and whatever happened, happened, so. Get Rich Quick Schemes. You see, with Get Rich Quick Schemes, they promise you the moon and the sun. They promise that you can... Take it slower, you know? No, I gotta talk fast. You gotta talk fast? Okay. Yes, I have to come off as intelligent as possible. It, this is an ego thing with me. People, people can talk slowly and still be intelligent. No. Oh, God, I can't even look at it. I'm serious. Like, I, I Google vaginas, see. and I get this fucking picture. I can't even fucking look at it. I don't like looking at them. They're too Most low. guys probably don't. It's they're just, too low? It's... Yes. What do you mean they're too low? You're I wish they were parallel awesome. with my dick. <laughs> Head's all empty and I don't care. Wait, so, so my I... baby. So Lori starts complaining to me and she doesn't know I'm a virgin. She's like, I can't believe I had to take his virginity away. I mean, I'm all cool with guys being virgins if it's because of their religious beliefs. But if a guy just can't find someone to have sex with him, that's pretty pathetic. I know what goes on. I mean, the penis enters the vagina, thrust, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. The winds blow, just hear the ocean roar. <clears throat> We're sailing to a better land to be and sell no more. Ahoy, we sail the seas. I'll yell out land ho soon. We'll dock on the shores and unzip our drawers and get some hijabi poon. I'd like to be, like, a very androgynous Korean guy. Yeah, Vegeta? It was Vegeta, right? I'm somebody else from the forum, can you guess who? Let's play a game, Vegeta 2. <laughs> I'm shy around people I'm trying to impress because, you know, for, for me it's just a big game, you know? Just a little nervous about this documentary. I got the 2.30 feeling. What are you nervous will happen in the documentary? Uh, you're gonna put it on the news and... <laughs> Nine o'clock news! <laughs> Investigative Guys, reporter. Who can't get girls. Uncovering dens of misogyny. She <laughs> infiltrated their ranks. Exposed one of their most outspoken members. <laughs> <laughs> and all urban white trash. <laughs> Say in that hallelujah song, the one that's like, I heard there was a. So that's my sad little life. What do you guys think? Doing the pan, I see it as like, you know, abstract art. That's what art is all about. It's like the ultimate art project is to kill yourself by jumping onto a pavement and splattering yourself, I think. Aren't I cheery? <laughs> Mike what? Running a website. You're running a website? I don't really run it. Wait, is this the group that you were telling me about? Yeah, that's where, she, where, where I met her from, where she posted her message. I didn't know you message. ran that. Yeah, I haven't always ran it. Go Mike. 